So they began with uh, they they began first with paper money, and then they moved from paper money to electronic money. And now we are with cryptocurrencies. And the difference between the electronic money and the new form of electronic money is that with the normal electronic money, there was still the control of the governments over it and control over the banks over the electronic money. The US dollar in its electronic form, the euro in its electronic form, the government still controls the euro. The US government still controls the US dollar and so on. The banking system still controls that money. But then comes a new form of electronic money. And this form of electronic money makes Russia smile, makes China smile, makes Iran smile, and makes Venezuela joyful with laughter. But these were always the targets of the West. So why would why would they bring a new form of money that causes the targets of their attacks to be so happy? Yeah. The answer is because the cryptocurrencies appear and perhaps actually are outside of the control of governments, outside of control of the IMF and of the banking system and as a consequence allow the targets who have been suffering because of monetary attacks on them to get some relief and so they welcome the cryptocurrencies. So it's electronic money which seems to have private origins rather than public origins and is privately maintained outside of the control of the banking system. Hmm? So private money, strange, huh? never happened thing. private money before, public money and private money. We never had the term monetary system in the first place. There was no, no subject like monetary economics, never. And then came a new, form of money and a new branch of knowledge called monetary economics. And now we have a new, new term now. We have public money, we have private money. But my responsibility is, someone in Islamic scholarship, it's not my responsibility to go into this private money and examine all its mechanics and explain that to you. That's not my job. Somebody else will do it. If it is outside of the control of governments and outside of the control of the banking system and that pleases people, fine, that's their choice. But we don't get our guidance from <laughs> private sources. <laughs> we get our guidance from the Quran and from he who was to whom the Quran was sent, Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam. And woe unto those who will turn away from the Quran when seeking knowledge, including knowledge of this subject. Woe unto those who do not direct attention to the Quran and to Nabi Muhammad either because they have more important things to do or because they don't know how to go to the Quran to locate that which explains the subject. They've been too secularized. What does the Quran tell us about money? In order for us to determine whether cryptocurrency is halal or haram, our Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam warned about a time when people will no longer care for the distinction between halal and haram. But mashallah you were here and it's nice really to speak with a Pakistani audience in Britain. 
it's far more comfortable to speak to a Pakistani Muslim audience in Britain than in Pakistan. <laughs> yes, I tell you that. And uh, I don't know what kind of reception I'm getting. I'll, I'm going to Pakistan for the first time in five years, <laughs> in, in August of this year. Uh, but I'm, I'm excited, really, I'm excited to find the kind of energy. You would not be aware of it, because you're living here. But I am coming from outside. And I have vast experience with Muslim communities around the world. So I find it exciting to see young Pakistani and Indian and Bangladeshi and Arab Muslims in this country. And they have such an appetite, such a thirst, such a hunger for knowledge of this subject. There are other places in the world I'll sit there for 10 years, 15 years, no one will come to me. None. To come to me, to seek guidance from me, to seek knowledge from me. And here, even if they can spend 10 minutes with me, they are hungry for it. This is something exciting about Britain. Yes, and I, I am enjoying being in your company. Mashallah, mashallah, mashallah. If we have to ask the question, does the Quran give us guidance concerning cryptocurrencies? Is it halal or haram? It's not just Surah al kaf and the story about the digging the hole and burying the money. And you know, you cannot bury electronic money. You can bury only that which is tangible and visible. <laughs> it's not just a story about the young man who slept for 300 years. And after waking up after 300 years, they took the money which they had. And incredibly so, incredibly so, it could still buy the food. I was five years of age when my father bought a motor car. He was a school principal and he wanted to take me to school. So in 1947, he bought a motor car, Hillman Minx. And uh, he then took me also to the market on Saturday morning in the Caribbean island of Trinidad. And I saw him buy a hundred oranges in a sugar bag for one dollar, Trinidad money. Seventy years later, that's three hundred, eh? This is only seventy. Seventy years later, with that one dollar, I cannot buy even one orange. That is our money, over 70 years. It, it, it's a strange kind of a money, as though it's leaking. It's leaking. It's losing value. Uh, it is suffering from a virus called inflation. Uh, and it, it, I realized when I studied sufficiently the subject of Dajjal, I realized that this was his most dangerous weapon of all. This one. To control every single one, but you put your toe on the line, if you step out, if you only step out, I'll destroy your money. It's called inflation. So, after 70 years, one dollar can't buy an orange. But after 300 years, they were using a different kind of money. Not this bogus money. Their 300 years, their, after 300 years, their money had successfully stored value. Where does this, this terminology come from? We never heard anybody talking about money having a function of storing value. Nobody ever taught that to us. The Darul Ulum never talked about this. Yeah. Can, you, can you imagine now the rage inside of me that I've been teaching this subject for 20 years or more? 
they wouldn't listen to me. So I'm all alone. And then they wouldn't even allow me to talk. What is his Akira? So let me restrain myself. <laughs>